Hey what's up guys, Malfix here and today I want to try out Fortnite Mobile with my Asus ROG phone. It has a Snapdragon 845 which is overclocked to 2.96 GHz and 8 gigs of RAM. Alright, let's go to the settings. And as you can see I already tried it out beforehand. And we can set the graphics up to Epic which is the highest graphics we can select Fortnite Mobile with and the 3D resolution which is a new option is also turned to the maximum sadly the frame rate is fixed to 30 only the latest iOS devices are capable of doing 60 FPS right now alright uh, basically that's that let's go back and anyways let's save I wanna do a solo game and the X mode is also turned on um, I already um, enabled as well the air triggers which I set it up um, for shooting on the right side and jumping on the left side. You will guys see that in a moment uh, when we get into the game. And as for my newest viewers guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell as I'm releasing new videos every day with different devices and different games so hit the bell to stay tuned. So this one is a uh, this is my daily drive at least for about um, one week right now and I have to say I have so much fun gaming on this one um, especially with those air triggers you really have a quite big difference at least for me uh, while gaming you just have more options to um, play differently which I uh, really like it's a nice change uh, absolutely um, a fun thing to have all right so um, really don't worry if the screen is flickering around and whatsoever this is just because of the AMOLED screen of this device while playing nothing flickers at all okay so basically like said we are fixed to 30 FPS so um, the FPS counter is on the top right the temperatures are nearby in the middle we can see the battery indicator and as well the CPU and GPU usage while gaming so as I'm not an avid um, Fortnite player especially not the uh, mobile version bear with me this is just to showcase you the um, capabilities of the Asus ROG phone and the Snapdragon 845 nothing else is the meaning of this video please keep that in mind I'm a quite bad player especially on the mobile version so anyways I will uh, try my best doing uh, something differently alright okay, right. there's already somebody I don't want to just die uh, right ahead so I will try to get away from this guy let's uh, look out for a weapon or something and yeah just like mentioned I already adjusted the air triggers on the left side I can jump while pressing the air triggers on the right side I can shoot basically or attack okay Now let me hit up the volume a little bit and the X mode is um, enabled this is the uh, special gaming mode the rock phone has alright the FPS stays at a solid 29 to 30 FPS I'm pretty sure this device could easily handle 60 FPS as well alright let's collect a little bit of resources so we can build something but more importantly we would really need a weapon though um, if you may ask why I um, positioned the left trigger for jumping um, it's because well I heard from Fortnite at least you tend to jump quite a lot so 
that's also a reason and there's a chest above me so let me try to build that here okay let me open this one up hopefully something useful at least a weapon here whatever this now is okay what is this item what does it do is it like a grenade or something let's try it out yeah i think so i think that's a grenade where your enemies have to dance or something okay So in, on PUBG um, with the ROG Phone, I uh, adjusted the left trigger, the left air trigger for uh, zooming in. But as I f tend to jump more frequently in Fortnite, I um, made it my more... I, I would say I prioritize jumping more than I use zooming in Fortnite. So yeah. It's quite handy as well, so you have to jump quite more on Fortnite. I think a little bit of lagging issues. Something weird is happening with the connection though. What's this? A pump gun. So Fortnite really uh, doesn't see those air triggers as uh, I, a direct input. So that's absolutely something you can use. And it seems like it's legal as well. So no problems at all using those air triggers. Alright, I have no idea what that just was. Well, I think it was some kind of trap or something. Probably. But yeah, not sure, not sure. If you guys know what happened, probably a trap. Uh, comment down below. I would like to know what kind of what, what kind of trap this was. All right. Um, I think that's a new new mode right now. I know it's the playground duo squads. What is this gauntlet solo test? No idea, let's try it out. Um, event details. Uh, let's see, not sure what this event does. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But the uh, GPU usage is quite heavy. Uh, it's about 74, 73 uh, persons, so yeah, quite demanding, I should say. Gauntlet solo test event, weekdays. No idea what the main purpose is here. <clears throat> to 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. p.m. Alright, we can as well jump and shoot at the same time. Nice. Gauntlet. This is probably something like... I don't know... Finding a chest or something. I heard at least there is like... A new uh, card where you have to find a chest or... Some treasure like thing. No idea. But everything is really fluid, the graphics also do look great. I have to say, um, this is the most fun yet I had with um, Fortnite Mobile, playing on any device. Just because of air triggers really make a ton of difference while gaming. Those type of games.
All right, there's somebody. Now a weapon would be pretty handy. And yeah, we got shut down here. Well, anyways, this uh, will be a wrap up, guys. Thank you a bunch for watching. And as you guys can see, as we as expected, the Rock Phone really does an outstandingly good job doing so. Staying at 30 FPS without any problems at all. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.